This is Arne's speech. Hello, London. Hello, Belmarsh. Hello, Julian. I come with greetings to you, Julian, from your supporters in Scandinavia. On 25th September 2019, John Shipton, Julian's father, visited the Swedish Parliament invited by the independent MP Amina Kakabave. None of the 349 parliamentarians had accepted her invitation to join. One journalist bothered to come. In his column the next day, he called the meeting a Christmas party of conspiracy theorists and presented us as pathetic, gray-haired, gray-haired leafletists. Sorry, leftists, beg your pardon, not leaflet. <laughs> I can't read, sorry. Leafletters as well, I guess. That day in 2019 changed me. I realized that being a journalist throughout my life, I had considered myself politically informed, particularly in relation to issues of free speech. Yet, I had neglected one of the most important issues of our time, the criminal arrest and treatment of Julian Assange by Sweden, the UK and the US. I began to investigate Julian's and Wikileaks' case with all the skills I have acquired as a journalist and chief editor of Sweden's leading newspapers for more than 20 years. Arne really is, you know, one of the, the leading lights in Sweden as far as free speech and those kinds of discussions go. I realized that not only the Swedish media, but also the Swedish government and Swedish legal authorities have done Julian a great injustice and caused great harm, not just to Julian, but also to those who were killed and tortured in Iraq, Afghanistan and elsewhere. I co-initiated the setjulianfree.org campaign in Sweden and Norway. We got support from 100 good people and gathered 3,500 names in support of Julian. We presented an appeal to the Swedish Foreign Minister, demanding that she respond to the United Nations Rapporteur on Torture, Niels Meltzer's letters. It received no notice. Yet leading newspapers, even Swedish Pen, the Writers' Union, and prominent media personalities stayed silent or continued to smear Julian. Only very recently, after more than 10 years of the persecution of Julian, have we seen signs of a crack in this wall of silence. Three weeks ago, Swedish Pen, Journalists Without Borders, Swedish Writers' Unions, and the Journalists' Union made a joint statement in support of Julian against extradition. Too little, but I hope from the bottom of my heart, not too late. Today, Julian faces an illegal extradition to an unjust US trial and an inhuman imprisonment. How this unfolds serves as a litmus test of the so-called rule of law and the very notion of Western democracy. I am deeply ashamed that my country, often sees as a seen as a leader in assuring human rights, has become an accessory to this perversion of process that undermines world human rights. I feel honored and privileged to be here today with you, Julian's family and friends. As war rages in Europe, we remember that Julian has told us that all wars are based on lies, and if the peoples of this world were told the truth, they would not go to war against each other. Thank you, Julian, for showing the way. We celebrate today the 51st birthday of a man who has loved us all so intelligently. Happy birthday, Julian.